Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review, and today we're taking a look at this Marvel Legends Toy Biz Face Off Daredevil action figure. And I've wanted this figure for years. I absolutely love Daredevil, and when I saw that they had this figure on this mold, the same mold as Sinister Six Spidey, I knew I had to pick it up. I actually think the mold looks a wee bit better on Daredevil here, but the problem was the price of this thing. As far as I can tell, this originally came in a two pack with Kingpin and there was never any single release and I think that has affected the price on the aftermarket. This thing goes for around £25 or up, which isn't too bad to be honest, but it was just slightly more than what I was willing to pay for an older Toy Biz action figure. But thankfully, after years of keeping my eye out, I found this thing for £8 the other day and of course I snatched it right up. So he's finally arrived and I definitely want to take a closer look at him here on the channel. Before we do guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this action figure, if you have it, if it's on your wish list, I'd love to know your thoughts down below. For you're down there guys, as always, if you can do me a massive favour, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button and let's not wait any longer. Let's take a closer look at this face off Daredevil action figure. And so here is Daredevil as he arrived from eBay and yeah there's not much going on accessory wise or any of the original packaging. I'll throw a picture of the original box up on screen just now so you can check that out. The only other thing I'd mention is he does not come with his original belly clubs. Um, I'll try and find a picture of them but what we get here looks to be way more modern from a newer Daredevil action figure because we've seen these time and time again with the newer Daredevil action figures. It might not even be Daredevil, this could be from, ah, my mind's gone blank, Night Thrasher, um, the Black Billy Clubs. I've got that figure, I believe we took a closer look at Night Thrasher on the channel as well. I can't quite remember if they put it together like this, but the all black clubs make me think that it could be from Night Thrasher or even like Shadowlands Daredevil, something like that. It's going to be from a modern Marvel Legends, that's for sure. But I'm really glad that the guy included some belly clubs regardless because I'm presuming he has lost the original ones, which is fine. Um, I would have picked this thing up for £8 without the belly clubs. So I am really thankful that the guy has included some modern ones, even if it didn't come with the original figure. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, these aren't from the original Toy Biz figure, but they came with this eBay listing, so we'll show them off here. Uh, they do pour together. Your standard sculpt that we've seen, I'm happy that <laughs> I've got them for this guy right here. And then yeah, we just get the figure and this thing looks so gnarly man, as I said, big Daredevil fan. I'm currently reading the current line of comics and pff, I'm absolutely loving them. That and the latest Punisher line have been really, really good. So yeah, I'm just in a pure Daredevil mood and this thing looks so damn cool. Like. Same with most of the Toy Biz figures, I've spoke at length on the channel how much I love the old Toy Biz action figures and this is definitely one of my favourites. We've got that all red classic look to Daredevil here and I think it just, it, they pull it off so well. The head sculpt looks really good, um, just a great expression, the cowl's really nicely sculpted, we get the black lines in there in between the eyes darker all red eyes and then you get the horns as well which are a darker red face looks good nice paint and uh, got paints on the lips there nice sculpt head sculpt i think is really good for this older figure especially and then we get the mold that we know and love as i said same mold as the sinister six spidey we can take a closer look at them side by side later on we took a closer look at this figure in its own video, so feel free to check that out. I think it's pretty much the exact same. It looks pretty much the exact same. I don't know if there's maybe minor differences here and there. I mean, definitely when it comes to the neck, um, if I grab Snapshot Spidey, it kind of... Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, like the chest looks a bit different. It's just in the arms, it's definitely the same sort of uh, mechanism here, the way it comes out at the sides. Uh, so yeah, definitely the same sort of mould here, but not the exact same, I wouldn't say. Uh, so yeah, great mould for Daredevil. 
and the costume just looks absolutely fantastic on this i love the logo on the chest there it really stands out i think i love the shading going on with the different tones of red going throughout and it really shows off when that light hits it i think that looks great i love the gloves we've got the articulated fingers as well um, on this one this finger sticks out it can't move much more but you do get the four finger articulation and it is the same in this hand here except the finger doesn't stick out yeah love the look of the gloves and i love the look of the boots um i much prefer daredevil with the boots i think on the more modern daredevil that we just got from the three pack looks like he's wearing like pajamas or something to be honest just without the boots at the bottom so yeah i do love that look and i love how it looks on this figure all oh, right okay well i've just got to one of the major talking points but we'll get there um the holster for the clubs as well is pretty great it straps onto the belt here you also get some straps going around the leg not attached but yeah this is really it moves about when you're posing them so it doesn't get in the way decent size i mean it's pretty big to be honest if anything but yeah i like how it works i like how it looks and yeah the arm man so i do not believe it said anything on the listing about any defects with this figure maybe the seller didn't even notice but i was posing this thing around taking some photos with him and that happened so I definitely need to be careful when moving this arm up and down and that is really frustrating I don't know if there's like an easy fix for it I don't want to just glue it in place because um, that, that's really going to restrict movement so if you have any suggestions let me know down in the comment section but that is the biggest downfall on this particular figure obviously not everyone's is going to come like that but yeah the arm <sighs> It has gotten, but to be honest, for eight pounds, I'm not too bothered. As long as I don't, you know, fling it up the way, it's not going to come flying out. Because I did actually pose this a fair bit before the arm came off. I didn't have his arm coming right up, but I was still moving it around in all sorts, and there was no problems. So it's just something I would need to be wary of. Let me try to get it back in. So yeah, you can see it's just missing like the cover of plastic at the corner there. So I really just want to try and get something on top of that that will hold it in place. But I don't know. And you can see at the back it is starting to crack as well, which means that thing is not going to be staying on at all. But yeah, I'll just need to be careful. As you can see, I can still get movement out of it um, and it will move forward and things. So it isn't the end of the world at all, but very frustrating, of course. I love the look of the legs. As I said, I love the look of the boots. Even they've got like lovely sculpted tread at the bottom toy biz just never lack on detail and the paint's always really good as well of course you get some toy biz sculpts that are like yikes but when toy biz do a good job they do an absolute belter of a job and of course this thing does look as always with all of these toy biz figures it looks a bit outdated but the charm is the style the uniqueness and this daredevil is definitely one of my favourites in the collection at this point. So let's put our Toy Biz Daredevil action figure next to some other figures in the collection. First up we've got the Sinister Six Spider-Man also from Toy Biz and this is one of my favourite Spider-Man Toy Biz figures. Unfortunately this one is really loose, definitely need to try and pick up another one. And originally I thought these were pretty much the exact same sculpt but they're not. Um, I think it shares the same uh, basics of sculpt, if, if what's the word I'm looking for. I mean, they are very similar, especially when it comes to the butterfly joints and the arms. But you can see the chest going up into the neck. They're totally different. The crotch area is totally different. Um, the thighs might be the same, but of course, you've got the gloves on, Daredevil booted area is different a lot of this sculpt is different and that is surprising i did honestly think it was the same but i think the mechanics are the same the overall 
<laughs> vibe for lack of a better word is the same like when it comes to the articulation it is going to be very similar range of movement but as a base sculpt daredevil is quite a bit different uh, when it comes to it and i don't mind that at all and i still think these guys look absolutely epic next to one another uh, when i'm posing daredevil next to a spidey this guy is going to have to make an appearance as i said he is incredibly loose but i'll make it work I'll, I'll try to make it work. For another Spider-Man comparison, we have got the Snapshot Spidey, which of course is very similar to the Sinister Six Spider-Man. We have also taken a closer look at this figure on the channel. And I don't know if it's just the Sinister Six Spidey with the paint, it's harder to, you know, compare and tell the differences, but the thighs definitely look the same between these two. But yeah, the body once again looks different. You've still got the big round shoulders, the same sort of butterfly joints. But yeah, Daredevil has his own skull by the looks of it. And then to compare our Toy Biz Daredevil next to a more modern Spider-Man, we've got the Marvel Legends AF-15 Spidey. And yeah, this definitely looks dated next to it. But I think if anything, it, going back to the whole style aspect of it, this is a very stylized figure. I feel like this is very standard. And yeah, they just sort of clash in that sense. But they don't look terrible. Um, I actually do like the look of these two. If I was going for a Marvel Legends Spidey, I think the darker colors of the AF-15 goes well with this gnarly looking Daredevil. And for a Toy Biz Daredevil comparison, we've got our face-off Daredevil in the middle, my childhood Daredevil figure on the left. I'm not too sure what this figure comes under. It was a Spider-Man Classics figure, I believe. It shares the same mold as the first Spider-Man Classics release. And yeah, the memories, man. Look at this thing. It is played with to death. It has fallen apart, but I will never part with him. He is very nostalgic i need to pick up a newer version of that right and then yeah the movie daredevil figure that we took a look at on the channel and this thing is trash it is definitely the worst out of the three maybe one of the worst in the collection to be honest just in terms of range of movement the sculpts there i do like the head sculpt but yeah the articulation sucks and i think it's clear to see that the face off daredevil blows the pants off both of these if you want a toy biz daredevil figure it is this guy right here he is looking incredible next to these two and then to compare our older toy biz marvel legends daredevil next to our newer marvel legends hasbro daredevil we've got the three pack daredevil on that renew your vows mode and yeah you can see the kind of evolution of figures here this is around 20 years difference but I have to say, I, I, honestly, I'm not just saying this, I think I prefer the Toy Biz. I think he looks so much better. I don't know, I don't know, man. If I'm going to be whipping out a Daredevil to pose around with the kind of latest figures, it of course is going to be the Hasbro version. But just side by side, if I had to pick a single figure, the charm coming from this one, man, is unmatchable. I absolutely love it. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. I do still want to kind of try get one of the older Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. I know there was one that came in a multi-pack and it's very expensive, but it also has the boots and the gloves. The logo and things stand out a lot better than this uh, Renew Your Vows mode one. So I don't know. All Daredevil figures are pretty damn pricey, so it is just a case of trying to get them for the right price. But yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. And what do you guys think of the Mafex uh, reveal from Comic-Con? Because uh, I'm tempted, man, but the head sculpt does not do that thing any favours. Um, I was really surprised with the head sculpt. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. I'd really be interested to know what your thoughts are on these kind of general Daredevil figures at the moment. And so there we have it for our Toy Biz Face-Off Daredevil action figure and as you can probably tell, I absolutely love this thing. I mean with any Toy Biz figure you could argue that they're dated, they look outdated, but I just think this thing looks like it's got so much style to it, it's oozing charm, the sculpt's great, the paint's fantastic, the range of movement's great, I mean this thing is great um as i mentioned it is a bit pricey you're talking 25 pounds and up i don't know man i'd probably pay around 20 i'd even go up maybe 23 but to get this thing for eight pounds is unreal i am so happy with that
Of course, I'm just going to have to watch that arm there with it coming out of the socket. Not ideal. Should be able to fix that somehow, but it's not obviously a problem overall I, I just need to kind of watch it when i'm moving this thing around but yeah let me know what you guys think of this figure down in the comment section below i'd uh, be really interested to know what you think of this older toy biz daredevil action figure and what you think of the kind of newer figures the mafex release let me know down below while you're down there guys as always if you could do me a massive favor hit that like button if you're new to the channel then please hit that subscribe button i'll leave the link to my instagram in the description below where i'll definitely be posting some pictures of this daredevil up over there and feel free to hop on over to the channel page as well check out any of my other videos there's a few daredevil figure reviews up on there lots of spider-man and marvel legends toy biz yeah it would mean a lot if you could check that out and it means a lot that you've checked out this video right here so thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll catch you on the flip-flop later cheers